Hey guys, I'm back with another motherfucking YouTube video and wait. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back with another motherfucking YouTube video. YouTube, 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 YouTube video. Mm -mm. YouTube. I'm back with another motherfucking YouTube video, and in today's YouTube video, we're gonna be talking about influencers. We're gonna be talking about influencers. Are influencers worth it? How much I spent on influencers in 2021 with my boutique business? Are they worth it? Communication, how much I made, the day they posted, all that stuff. We're gonna get right into that because. I got a bone to pick with these influences, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, so. First and foremost, right? Just on YouTube to see if there were any YouTubers that were on here talking about influencers and stuff and their experience and all that. And I never, I don't think I've seen, the most I've seen in terms of influencers for boutique owners or business owners were like using um, micro influencers but what about the girls who don't want to use micro influencers who want to use the bigger influencer you know what I'm saying so I just decided that I'm gonna share my experiences with some of these influencers okay so yes if you're new here and you don't really know what's going on you know the tea I own a boutique business Jadora Boutique Apparel and on Instagram Jadora.Boutique underscore underscore and yes so I own a boutique business and to help push my boutique business and stuff, I decided that I wanted to get into using influencers. Before I started thinking about this, I was totally against it because some of these influencers charge 10000 15000 20000 depending on the influencer. And I was so against it, especially for small businesses because it's like... It makes sense to charge like bigger brands like Fashion Nova or Pretty Little Thing and all that kind of stuff. It makes sense to charge $15,000 for bigger brands like that. I mean, duh. So before I was against that, I'm like, why would small businesses who are on the rise trying to make something out of themselves pay an influencer almost the same thing that they would get from a bigger brand? I don't get that. But after a while, I changed my mind. I was like, you know what? Let me just start getting into influencers because I got tired of just waiting for my Instagram followers to just grow by themselves or to get more customers by myself. Like it just takes longer and I'm an impatient person. I want to I want to get to it now. So to start off, the first influencer I used was Miss Heather Rose. If you don't know who Miss Heather Rose is, she's an influencer on Instagram. She was also, she's also associated with Gunna at one point. Um, but yeah, so I decided to use Miss Heather Rose, I believe. Let me take a look right now. Wait. I'm a surprise. <laughs> and I think right now she has about... Let's see. She has about 423k on Instagram. That's not That's not bad, you know. I guess what influencer is not it's not shabby. It's whatever. So, she has 423k. So, to start off, I believe I think I I believe I paid her 2000 because her regular her regular pricing is i think 1500 for just a regular instagram post and but she gets to delete it i think it stays up for about 48 to 72 hours i'm not too sure let me see if i can find the email okay so i found the email i went all the way to the top right so at the time september 5th 2021 <coughs> one instagram post and whatever alpha you give her is a thousand five hundred per Instagram post. 
for an IG video, it was $1,600 for one IG video post. If you wanted, um, I think I believe I wanted a permanent post. Okay, yes. So I wanted a permanent post and a permanent post was 2000 for a permanent. And at the time, I thought it was a good idea. I thought it was fine to pay her 2000 this is my first influencer. I hadn't used an influencer before, so I thought at the time that 2000 was good enough. You know, like it was okay, it was decent for, I guess, who she was. Mm, I don't know. But I paid $2,000. And after 2000, okay, so this is how it works for influencers. After you pay them, whichever day, week you pay them, it takes two weeks after the payment date for them to post a picture, okay? I sent her the outfit to her PO box. One thing I've learned is always send a contract. You never wanna work with an influencer and never send a contract because one, they, these influencers, let me tell you, I'd be ready to tussle about my money because why am I paying you $2,000 and up and I told you to post on a certain day or you say you're gonna post a certain day and then you end up posting two weeks later, three weeks later, four weeks later. It just doesn't make sense. If I paid you for a certain day, do my shit this day. Just do it this day that I paid you. Like, I don't get it. So, okay. Anyway, that was just a random thought. Anytime you want to work with an influencer, make sure that you find a contract. There are contract websites on Google. I think I use, I'm going to look it up and then I'm going to put like their logo in here and their website as well. But make sure you always send that contract because these are just playing. They be playing, okay? Okay. So I sent her the payment September 6th, which means if it was September 6th, she was supposed to be posting September 6th. Two weeks from September 6th would have been the 20th of September. So I sent out her package through regular shipping. I didn't express ship it because if it's gonna take you two weeks to post, I mean, I have more than enough time to just do regular shipping and for it to get to you by that time. So I did regular shipping and it ended up um september 11th she ended up asking me for the tracking number and then i said yes i do i have the tracking number but for some reason there was no movement on the package i wasn't sure why so they hadn't seen i guess usps hadn't scanned the package or something so the package was in her mailbox just sitting there and we didn't know i didn't know she didn't know because it wasn't showing on the tracking information like so so it updated by it updated the same day that she asked me for the tracking number and it says it's in atlanta today so she said she would check her inbox i mean she would check her p.o box september 15th which was tomorrow the next day i said okay no problem the next day i asked her hey has it arrived she says yes I asked her when did you receive it and when are you posting she was supposed to be so when I asked her when she received it and when she would be posting it was September 19th right so she hadn't posted and she hadn't said any she hadn't answered my email back so she ends up posting on the 23rd when she was supposed to post on the 20th she hadn't texted me back after I asked her, hey, when did you receive it and when are you posting? She never told me when she was going to be posting and she um, never told me when she received it. So September 23rd, she ends up posting, but she doesn't tag the correct page. She tags a different page, which I guess when you when you go back in the email somewhere, I guess I said... I gave her the wrong boutique, but even at that, I said Jador.boutique. I think she tagged some other something boutique other page. I don't know. So she ends up tagging the wrong boutique for so for like the first 10, 15 minutes of her the post, the other boutique were getting followers and likes and all that kind of stuff when that wasn't the page. 
so i ended up i had to text dm her on instagram i'm gonna put that up i had to dm her on instagram and on email email her as well to say hey like this is not the right or instagram page can you please tag the right page so um the next day which is the 24th i asked her hey is it possible to do a story post the other page was gaining in the beginning due to the wrong tag which is my fault and my mistake so i said i said that so based on based on analytics and stuff i would say the first day i posted the pictures probably got like 150 likes maybe or less and eight comments and majority of the comments were basically like people just saying oh my god yes whatever it wasn't really about the outfit that i had sent her <coughs> in terms of the outfit and like how she dressed it up i honestly didn't like it and i knew that because a few days before she was about to post this was after i had paid her i noticed that when i go through her instagram a lot of her promo um pictures are not really i feel like she doesn't dress them up like how she would if she was regularly posting for her page you know what i'm saying like when i look at sometimes when i look at fashion nova outfits and stuff like she dresses up with a bag and all that kind of stuff it just wasn't really given for a paid promo post that i she just wore the dress and wore the heels i'm gonna put the picture up again so I feel like I could have did that. You know what I'm saying? I could have put a dress, the dress on and then put some heels on and called it a day. You know what I'm saying? If I'm paying you for a paid promo post, I want you to put your foot in that. Like, not no half-assed picture, you know? I don't know. That's just my opinion. That's just how I feel. If it be like, $2,000 or $2,000, you know what I'm saying? So, I expected a little more from the picture. If I'm being honest, this is just give me being given my opinion, my honest opinion. Somebody else could have worked with her and had a better experience and or could have liked their picture more. That's their opinion. This is just my opinion and how I feel about the picture that she took from my boutique. Also, for paying her two thousand dollars on September twenty-third. Okay, so on September twenty-third, right? I only made $129 in sales on the first day. Only $129. Really, nigga? Um, in terms of visitors that came to the website, I had 113. Uh, uh, like the analytics, sales, it just wasn't given. It just wasn't given at all. At all not good so let's also see how for the rest of the week how it went so for the first week after she posted analytics wise hold on hold on on that hold on hold on now hold on hold on hold on now hold on hold on. what so i did make it back Okay, so a week from the day she posted, I did make the money back. I made back 2007 No, no. Yeah, I made back $2,079. Which, if we're really thinking about it, it wasn't really worth it because I made the money back. My profit or the, like the, I made my money back and some, but the sum was $79. Like, that's really nothing if you really think about it. I was hoping or looking forward to at least like maybe maybe if I even had like what three thousand dollars then that makes sense you know the investment makes sense I would have invested that and made some and more like not seventy nine dollars like no so do I think it was worth it on a scale of one to ten six and a half seven my opinion that's how I feel and that's what it gave like the picture didn't give what it needed to sales didn't give what it needed to especially the first day in my opinion i feel like the first day of uh, yeah the first day that the influencer posts is like the golden hour when you should make a bag first day second day let's see how much i made second day 
from analytics let's go back 24th let's see how much I'm in on the 24th I made $524 which is definitely better than the day before but the first day I just remember just feeling terrible I'm like oh my god like this did not go the way I needed it to go at all I wasn't getting a lot of visitors I wasn't getting sales it was just terrible that first day second day I made some money back it took some time it took too like it took too long for me for me to make that money back I feel like a week later I feel like the first week first day second day third day I should have made it back plus the profits or plus the like making the money back in some is what I'm saying you know so that's how I feel if I'm rating it from a one to ten I'm gonna give it a six and a half seven in terms of how the influencing went communication the outfit the picture and in terms of sales all of those together just it could have been better that's how i feel